myself Santosh. I do have around nine years of experience working in IT industry. And currently I'm working as manager in Microsoft. My core experience is towards data science, data engineering and data analytics project. Currently I'm managing around eight projects and total I have worked with around 80 projects from different domains such as banking, healthcare, insurance, e-commerce and retail. And I'm a certified trainer taking training for KSR for the last five years. Welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In this video, we'll try to create one simple app by using Power App. And let me tell you what is the requirement. Whenever a new student comes into our institute, we'll try to add their information into a database. Now, imagine a student is joining XYZ course. So we have to capture their ID, their name, phone number, email ID, location, what is their experience and what is the joining? When did they join? Now, do you think of a people within KSR, do you think they have so much of time that they'll do a manual entry? We all know SQL. We can write a script by an insert script, insert into table and we can give the values. Now, do you think we have that much of patience and time to go and insert manually? Definitely no. Now, we need to find a way how can we make a direct entry from an app? So whenever a new, new student comes into picture, maybe we'll try to add from a, a mobile screen and automatically we will be able to make an entry into the table. Now we are going to demonstrate that. We will not be concentrating on the designing part, but we'll be concentrating on how the logic works. Okay. To start with, first let's log into our Power App. So first we'll log into our Power App. And once you log into our Power Apps, it's directly logging in and this is my organization account. So if you want to create any app, you have to be signed into an organization account because we are building an app for KSR, right? It's not for everyone else. It's only for KSR people. So we have to make sure that we have logged into the organization account. And this is the home page. In the home page, we can see that we can see that there is a possibility that we can create the app. It's a blank app, or you can connect from a SharePoint, or you can connect from a SQL. And we have a documentation here, and we have the existing app here. So all these things are something which you can see here. Now what I will do, I'll create an app. And where is the data coming from? The data is coming from database, right? So let's do one thing. I'll try to connect my SQL database. And once I connect, try to connect to my SQL database, the first thing which I need to do is I need to go for new connection. In the new connection, which is a database, we have MySQL database. So let me connect to MySQL database. In the MySQL database, we, knew, we need to fill the form for setting up the connection. So what I'll do, I'll give my server, my server is localhost. My database name is YouTube. So let me give YouTube and the username and this is my password. And I need to go and set a gateway. So gateway is something which establishes the connection between your on-prem to the Power Platform tools. So let me select my gateway. So let me select this gateway and try to create the connection. Now once the connection is established, automatically it is going to give us a, a three screens by using their own features. Okay. Now in that database, I have only one table, which is going to be my student table. That is the student details. Currently, I don't have any records. So let me go and select this table. And once I connect to this table, it is going to create a three page screen automatically for us. Now that's how our power apps is so powerful. It can help us in creating within a few clicks. Now, if you see here, so we have three screens. So one is a browse screen, one is a detail screen and one is a edit screen. Okay. Now let me zoom it. Now this is a screen that you can see here. So this is a browse, this is a 
detail screen and this is an edit screen okay now what i will do since this does not have any data for now it's not showing any data but let me go and insert a new data so this is actually a development tool if you want to go and use this app we can directly go and give this play button so once you give the play button you can see that this is like your mobile screen well now i am showing it within my browser but the same app i can install in my mobile application and i can use it now imagine if there's a new student that is coming into our system right one person has reached out to us to join xyz uh, course and we wanted to save this information do you think we can go and manually make a insert statement here definitely not we need to go and use it from the application assume that i am opening this from my smartphone okay so i will go and click this plus button so a form has been opened now what i need to do one student has come to us so we have to go and make an entry so what we will do i will just make an entry of student id i'll give one student email id let me give kiran at kesadatavision.com so i'm generating an email id for him and the number of experience he hold let's say he is actually one year old experience and when did he join the course he is actually joining today so i'll select today's date and location assume that he is from bangalore and what is his name kiran kumar is the name and let's say we will give one phone number now i have entered it now who will go and do a manual entry we cannot do a manual entry right so i have used this app and i will go and click this submit item so automatically the one entry will be made now how do you go and validate it we can go and check in the database see one person entry is been made right now let's try one more time i'll go and add another student let's say student id 2 vinay experience 0 is a fresher imagine that he joined the last monday location name and phone number right and i'm making an entry a two entries has been made now let me go and give here and let me search you can see that we can see the entry has been made and his experience is zero okay now i made a mistake actually uh, the name i have given properly the email id i did not generate properly so i need to go and edit it right maybe fortunately i made a mistake so i need to go and change a email id now now again is it possible yes it is definitely possible what you can do is go here you click this person's id and you have a pencil button here which is basically a edit item so i will click this edit item again the pop the form will be populated and i'll simply go and tell vinay at etavision pesa data vision okay and let's say i have i have made a change number for change number 2 phone number also i have made change to 29 last two digits is 29 now i am going to save now automatically the form has updated now if i go and see here now just observe this this data will be changed see who will go and do a manual update who will go and do a manual entry it's not possible right now this app we will give it to ksr maybe we'll put some designing and all and then we will give it to the ksr team so any new student who comes into our system directly can go and our admins can go and add a student now once we get all the student information it's easy for us to understand how many students have joined from which location how many of them are experienced maybe we can add more of the details and we can start seeing how many of got the offer and how many of got the 
highest package. Okay, just I'll show you our own database we have. Let's say this is our own database. So in this database, we have all the uh, students and where did they come from? When did they join? And which batch they belong to? How many offers they hold? And what is the highest package they have? So all this information we do have. Well, this is what we maintain for KSR. But do you think I or my team have a patience to go and do a manual entry? Definitely not. We have our own app. We have concentrated about the logic, but we can come up with a UI screen. Let me show you some sample UIs that we can come up with. Let's say this is app. This is actually the screens which you have seen. So this is a browse. You can browse for any student and you can go for details where you have an option of edit. And if you want, let's say one student has like uh, went to on site and he don't want to continue the course. If you request for a deletion, we can go and delete this. If it deletes, we will be able to delete it. For example, let's say Vinay. Vinay has requested that he has to go for on-site for his education. So let me delete it. So his, his details is deleted. So let me go and run this. The Vinay information will be deleted. Whether it's a delete, it's an update or insert, directly we can make it from this screen. Well, that is what we can do with respect to our Power App. Now, let me show you some applications that we have built. Okay, we will be teaching you functionality level. But if you have all these applications, in these applications, there are so many applications that we have built. Let me show you sample one. Okay, let's say this reference app. See, this is how the screen looks. This is the app that we are going to build. And the functionality will make an automatic entry to the table. Let's say I log into the screen. It will ask you the email ID and password. So every person who is going to log into our application will be going and using our login details. So their email ID and the password, I, I'm saying about the admins, KSR admins. So their email ID and password should go and match. If it is matching, it will go to the next screen. In the next screen, we can go and add the information about the student. Well, the functionality level, it's already working. It is going and making an entry. But screening level, how to design your own screen, how to come up with the fonts, colors, icons, everything we will see in the subsequent videos. It's very easy to build an app without even writing lines of code. We can get a lot of things done automatically. That is how your power apps are so powerful okay with that we'll stop here we'll continue in the next video thank you so much please subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed we will meet in the next video